This is a this is probably the size of the valve that we're going to end up putting in. We would end up. This is a, a 19 millimeter valve, a 19 millimeter sizer. This is the sizer component, and this is what the valve will look like once I put it in. Um, I'm going to put this in, and so I've got the sizer, and I'm going to try and fit it in, and it goes in there. Now, oh, this is perfect to show you now. See how much I. You go ahead. <laughs> so I take feel it. The tension. You, you're not going to cause a problem. You feel the resistance. Yeah. So yeah. how can I teach that to somebody? I gotta, gotta give right. it a bit of a push, but how much is the right push? Yeah. Okay. You got it. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Pauses for five seconds. Okay, now, you can, now you can make uh, sure. let go. Now you can let go. And we get 18.59. Pretty close to 19 Fox, there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah? yeah? Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today we were able to put the device in. Uh, we sized the annulus, and I predicted based on my surgical experience, you now it's a pig heart. But based on my surgical, surgical experience, I would be comfortable putting a 19 valve in. We put the device in today, and we reproducibly were able to demonstrate a number of 18.56 millimeters. That's pretty darn close. So I think uh, it was nice that we were able to show the same number, but what was even more um, comforting for me was that when we did it repeated times, we got the same number. So the reliability of the test was clearly very valid. Um, initially, when we discussed this project, I thought it would be limited to only educational purposes. But the more I think of it, the more I realize that the potential after miniaturizing the device is quite significant. A company, for example, may choose to say, look, we will align our product with, the, with this device um, in order to increase the reliability of valve sizing.